Mama, uh, we are sorry you say we know carry water come before um, we go carry water come. Something happened for our vehicle, so now make us no come, no vest, ma. So, but Mama, we don't get water now. We we'll carry water come this night. Okay, ma. Getting up to do what you have to do to survive in, in Lagos. Everybody know that in, in, in Lagos, if you don't have a job, first of all, the kind of hungry that is going to uh, uh, fire you, nobody's going to tell you to look for something to do. Hi, my name is Hezekiah Ikekwa. I'm a Sachet water distributor. Uh, I base uh, mostly in VI. I was born in the year 1990, December 30th to be precise. I, I came from a family of uh, three boys only. I don't have a sister. Uh, my dad comes from Edo State, while my mom comes from Imo State. I, I attended um, Command Children's Secondary School here in Victoria Island. I furthered uh, to Delta State University of Abraka. There I studied uh, geography and regional planning. When I was my children level, I did my IT. Then I have to defer my admission because of uh, my dad was late and there was nobody to sponsor and uh, uh, start hustling and start making money on my own. Uh, my mom was in the business already, but uh, she was about to quit the business for a better one because when dollar increased, everything became so expensive. The gain that she's gaining from one bag of such as water was reduced to 20 naira a bag. So she was like, she can't sell a market of 20 naira a bag. But I was like, I can do this if I find more customers. I will be able to make enough money to start any other, uh, to start my own empire. So. That was when I took the courage and uh, I start looking for new, new customers until a point that I was able to sell up about 3,000 bags a week. So, and uh, we are still counting. So, I, to me, that is a very big progress. Uh, this is uh, our former, my former boss. I usually use it to supply, but it goes port. So, I'm using it now as uh, my office and uh, I usually stay here and go, I usually stay here during the week and on weekend I go home because of cost of transportation because I stay at the uh, Aja area. All right, uh, this is my storage facility. Yeah, uh, we, we have this big vehicle that usually carry like 3,000 bags a week, but uh, when we store it here, we usually use the cart, the long way barrel to supply our customers around VI only. Uh, I also sell the uh, dispenser, water, and uh, we are about to start selling the bottled water. Uh, this is what we do just to, <clears throat> to help ourselves in this Lagos. So, uh, uh, talking about distances, because I can't do it alone. So that's why I have to, I pay uh, my boy every morning, every day to help me to supply. So the stress will not be much for me. You know, there's a popular saying that uh, two is better than one. And also, um, most, of the, most of the times, we usually also have some, uh, some problems with um, tax force and CHI. You know, they disturb our, our business uh, bit with, um, <clears throat> with our little knowledge that we have. We, we usually try to protect our, ourselves, our business. So, yeah, uh, what we're about to do next now, we're about to supply some of the customers because they are waiting for us. So, uh, I would like you to um, just follow me, then I will show you my customers, then show you how we work.
Yes, this is my first um, supply. <clears throat> so she usually buy up to five bags a day, making it 20 bags a week. She's one of the big customers. We call her Yai Badon. Yai Badon, yes, that's her name. So she has been my customers, yes. Yeah, this is she, yeah, this is she. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yai Badon has been my customer for about 11 years for now, and she has been faithful. She only buys water from us because our water is very good. It's just the best. So we are through with her. So now we are going to one of our biggest customers, Murphy's Plaza. They usually buy up to 50 bags a week. We are rushing there. Ah. So uh, you have to watch the motor. Yeah, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah. So we are just dropping 10 bags here. So later in the day, we'll come and complete it. Because they usually buy much. We, can able, we cannot push all these things with the cart. So that's why we're doing it small, small. In, in this pure water distribution business, it's very, very expensive to have your own uh, company. I usually buy directly from the producers. I buy at a cheaper rate. I buy at a rate of 19 naira and I sell at the rate of 110 naira. That is a profit of 20 naira, roughly 30 naira a bag. The amount of uh, ba uh, water I supply every day is about um, 700 to 800 bags. The 800 to 700 bag, before it finishes, we don't wait for it to finish. So we order, the producers for a new one, we pay them the old one, then they bring business, just goes on like that. Then in a week, when we calculate, at least we are about, to, we, are, we, are, we, are, we can finish about 3,000 bags a week. One thing I noticed about the business is that the weather affects the income of this um, pure water distribution business because uh, during the rainy season, uh, we usually have a, a low demand because of the cold. People don't usually drink much water. But in the dry season, we usually have excess of demand. Even that 3,000 bag, like the previous week, it was not enough. We are just uh, uh, managing the few customers we can manage. Our customers are more than the, the, the supply. Yes, this is uh, one of our big customers. Uh, we call her Mama Kalaba. So she usually buy like 15 bags every day. We're making it up to like 65 bags a week. So she, she's really doing well, she's doing well. So I want to ask her, Mama, do you need water? Or do we, we came late, do you really need water, Ma? Okay, she says she need water. So we are going to um, load water for her now. And many one of my big customers are, yeah, as you can see, this is where she's to keep her water. She doesn't have any water. So uh, we are going to bring water for her now. So this is what we do, usually check our customers, whether they are going to need. Oh no, if they don't need, we will not stress ourselves. But if they need, we must make sure that we bring water for them. So we are coming right back. Because of, uh, because of um, the condition of the country, because of Kai and tax force, they usually use wheelbarrow to shade their markets at night. So anytime that there is maybe tax force coming on, they'll just run with it. So that's why their market is, is on the wheelbarrow, it's covered. So and, uh, uh, they usually buy up to 15 bags every day, uh, making it up to like 65 bags a week. 
So they are really, really big customers. And 15 bag costs about 1,650. So they are really, really, really doing well in their business. So yeah, so there are two of them. One name is Alaji, and we call the other one. This him. Yeah, he's sleeping. Yeah, he's just why he's sleeping because in the night he didn't have rest. Because in the daytime, tax force will be disturbing, disturbing. So in the night, that's the only when he can he can sell. So yeah, so he's sleeping and having rest. So night again, we are going to supply him. We only supply at night. So we have customers that we supply in daytime and customers that we supply at night. So we are always working, always working day and night, two four seven. Yes, uh, the challenges of this business, uh, the first challenge is, is not, it's not a business that you can monopolize. And when I mean uh, monopolize, is, it's not a business that only you can sell. Because Piotr is something that many people produce it. So we have uh, so many competitors uh, and uh, our water is good. Uh -huh. but. Our competitors' water is also good. And most of the time, our competitors are producers. I mean, direct producers. And I'm not a direct producer. I'm a middleman. <laughs> I buy from producers. But other producers, they come with their um, trucks to VI and meet the customers directly. They don't uh, sell to any middleman. So they usually ask the customers, how much are you buying? Your, such a, your pure water, they will say, I usually sell 110. So when the customer tell them, then because of they want to, uh, to take the customers for themselves, they will reduce the price, they will sell 100 Naira, so we will sell 90 Naira. And the customers will then tell me, hey, see this your such a total, you're selling 110, we can't keep buying 110. You understand? Somebody brought a better water and uh, the price is cheap. So such uh, information, do frustrate us and we lose customers. My name is Demaika and the Ibex guy is a good boy. He supplies water for everybody. There's no nothing like this. Every customer knows him. At least half of this environment, many of them know him. He's a good boy. I know him for a long time, more than five years. It's time to collect money for the supplies that we supplied in the morning. So I usually use my bicycle because the places are Numerous. Uh, shit. Um, I can't use my bicycle today because uh, I didn't check it. I have a flat tire, and uh, I will not. I don't have chance chance now to get a organizer to help me pump it. So I guess I'm going to trek. Because there's nothing stopping or stopping me from collecting the money today. The second challenge we should have again is that we don't have a vehicle of our own. I usually spend much money uh, paying boys to help me supply. Like if I that is uh, helping me to supply. So I usually give him a, a, a maximum of one five every day. Okay. Uh, oh, good afternoon. Yeah. I want to collect uh, money for 15 bags of pure water. My boy is saying draw 15 bags. Yeah, so I want to collect money. No. Yeah? And I want six, no, I want 10. Ah, am I supposed to be one six fifty? Okay, okay, Oma, no problem. I will manage it. Okay, from next time, it's one one ten. Because of the cost of dollar, they have made the the nylon. The such a total nylon that we used to bag the such a total to be very soft. When they bag, they would have extra. So that's the. And if you ask them for extra, they will tell you that nylon is very cost. Mama, uh, we are sorry to say we no carry water come home. before um, we go carry water come. Something happen for our vehicle. So now make us no come, no vest, ma. So but Mama, we don't get water now. We carry water come this night. Okay, ma. You say we should drop five bags. So I must um, write it. Write a demand because if I didn't keep, if I if I didn't write it, I might forget. So that's why I keep writing so that I will not forget. So we're going to my next customer. This is uh, Mr. Yaya. Good afternoon. Yes. Fine, my dear. Fine. 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 Thank you. Fine. Yes. Yes. Fine, sir. Fine, sir. Fine, sir. 
Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. yes, and we are sorry we didn't bring water for you. Before we came, it was very late, so and my workers were very tired. But this night, we'll have water, we'll bring water. I don't know whether you're going to need water. I'm very sorry, sir. You too, no? Thank you. No, that's not anything. Before you did the. Yeah. So I didn't say nobody about it. Okay, thank you very much. So he said that he has already bought water because I didn't come on time. So I was not lucky enough. So he said it will be next time, next upper week. Because state government have uh, said they don't want to see people selling on the, on the roadside. And the people selling on the roadside are 90% uh, uh, of them are my customers. Uh, most of the time, when I supply them, they will tell me that Kai came and packed their market and raided everything. They be my customers and we have been doing business for years and they don't have the money to pay me back. So they will just tell me to supply them new one. They will pay for that new one, but the old one, they will be finding it difficult to pay. So that is another challenge, the tax force and the Kai. Anytime they disturb my customers, they are disturbing us directly. Everybody know that to rent a shop in VI, to stay comfortable in VI is very, very expensive. And the kind of uh, business I'm doing, I don't have enough income to make myself comfortable here. Like in this, uh, this car park here, uh, uh, that I'm, I'm using as a shop and a mini house. Uh, I can't uh, defecate here, you understand? Because we have no uh, restroom here. So most of the time, we usually go to banks to ease ourselves. And, uh, that used to be very, very inconvenient because of security and all these stuff. And uh, when we feel that maybe we are getting to get into trouble, we usually go to some terrible canals, as in terrible canals to ease ourselves. That is another big challenge. We would have been going to our house every day, but because of the cost of transportation from our shop to Aja every day, it will to be so expensive. This is what we face every day, the challenge we face every day, but uh, because of uh, our determination and the hardship in the country, if we don't do this, uh, we'll be so, 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 so broke. So that's why we keep doing it, keep doing it and hoping that one day it will get better. Uh, the owners of the building, I don't know, they, they feel that it's time for him to go. So, and I've been there for so many years, for well, like 20 years since I know him. So it just happened, it's a shock. It's just, I was just coming to collect some money from him that we supplied him. So we just see that they are already scattering the shop. So it's just a pity. Uh, so at this junction, I'm not sure that I have the heart to collect money from him again. So I have to uh, compensate with him. Because if I start asking for him money now from him and he doesn't have money, it will be as if maybe I am not considerate. And uh, he has been my customer for up to 15 to 20 years. So this uh, action by the company that uh, is working for as a security man has affected my business. So. Okay, Papa, be Teta B. All right, take out to take out, eh? take out. First of all, hunger motivated us to do this because there was a job that we were doing before. So the job was not coming often, it's just like a contract job. So most of the time we are just jobless and hungry and nobody to help us. And Lagos is the kind of place that when you start begging for money, they will think that maybe you want to do them bad things, something like that. So they just avoid you. So that is uh, one of the uh, things that made us to to do this business. I wouldn't like to go back to school now. Uh, I wouldn't like to go back to school because uh, I feel that I am educated enough in that aspect. So I would like to invest more in business, in making, in making money and using uh, the education that I have, that I have to to make more money because I believe that the reason why we go to school is to make money. So I wouldn't like to go back to, to school and start spending uh, 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 money, even if it's part-time or anything. No, I wouldn't like to go back to school. I would like to expand more in business. Expand more in business. Yes. Like uh, Dangote and uh, the rest of them. 
Uh, I used to have, but I, I quarreled with her. One thing that made me to end the relationship is when I discovered that she was always demanding of money. The type of business I'm doing, I don't need anybody that will be shorting my capital. My future plans for this business is that uh, I want to be the, the sole provider of pure water dispenser and bottled water in the whole of VI. Okay, my mom was the one that taught me how to hustle in any condition because right from the time I knew her, she's a very struggling person. Even when my dad was um, working for one white man and the salary was just so poor, she was on a start of this business. So from this business, that was where we I had the school fees to, to train all of us. So if it was the work that my dad was doing, I didn't think that we were able to go far in, in school at all at all. I, I, I really, really hey, give her a thumbs up. I give her a thumbs up. She's my superwoman, she's my hero, she's my mentor. My mentor. Yeah. After a hard day of supply, I usually use this my keyboard to chill out, to relax my mind. Oh, <laughs>